What's up, guys? Have you ever played half guard? I'm sure you probably have. Played half guard, and you get this guy, he's got the underhook on you, and he's putting a lot of smash on you here, and for whatever reason, you can't get the underhook, and you're just smashing your back? If so, I'm gonna show you how to use the lockdown to get the person off balance so that you can put yourself in a better half guard position. Let's check it out. All right, guys, so we're stuck in this half guard, right? So. In the half guard position, the underhook is everything. So right now, if he has the underhook, he's pretty much in a very offensive passing position. If I can find a way to get the underhook, I'm in a better position to get sweeps and I'm more offensive. Now the problem is, in a position like this where they flattened us out, it's really hard, especially if they got that forward pressure, to drive into them to make any space here. And so there's a, a, an idea that I use for in my half guard where you basically go with the power. So if I feel like someone's smashing me here, I've got to figure out a way to get them moving. Now, I can sometimes do this where, with a hip shovel motion to get them off balance, but if they're really tight, I'm going to use the lockdown. Now, I'm showing you guys this lockdown too also, in part because I see a lot of white belts that start to play half guard and a lot of blue belts too and they'll do the lockdown, but then they don't really know what they're doing with it, and they'll just start to flex and extend. And it doesn't really do anything, they stay stuck. And on top of that, this position with the legs here can be a, a knee destroyer. Uh, a couple of years ago, when, uh, or not a couple of years ago, shoot, almost a decade ago, when uh, Hoyler went against uh, Eddie Bravo, and Eddie Bravo put the lockdown and was doing all that stuff to Hoyler, a lot of my like blue belts and white belts and everybody who hadn't really messed around lockdown that much, they were looking at the position going, oh, that's so cool. So then the next week they came in and were doing it and we like tore like two or three meniscus pe uh, people's knees, like their meniscus cartilage. Two or three people had their meniscus torn that week because what would happen is the guys would get it and they would just extend as hard as they could and then the top person didn't know what to do and they were extending at the same time and it creates a lot of shearing joint uh, pressure. So again, we're not gonna just extend, but we get this grip here. So if you're stuck in a half guard here, right? Outside leg hooks, inside leg hooks their leg and then we're flexing, right? Down here at the ankles. Still tight on the knees, but we're flexing the legs here and getting tight, okay? Now from here, I'm not gonna extend so what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to use this to help me go with the power. So again, I need this underhook. And since I can't drive into him, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my knees up and then I'm going to whip my legs to the side. My buddy Brandon McGaffrey showed me this originally. He, he has a lot of good uh, lockdown stuff. You can check his channel out. I'll put it down in the links below. But basically we're going to bring the knees up here and then we're going to whip it to the side. Now what's going to happen is when we do that, let's come around to this side. From here, we're gonna bring the knees up to the to the body here. And there's Danny. Later, Danny. Danny's, Danny's from New York. He stopped in. Hi, everybody. <laughs> if you guys ever stop in, by the way, the gym doors are open to you. I don't do mat fees, so if you're ever in town, coming through Louisville, Kentucky, feel free to stop by. So from here, we bring the knees up. And then we're gonna whip our hips to the side here. Now what's gonna happen is if he does not post, he will fall over. So a lot of times you're gonna get at some sort of post. As soon as that happens, I take this hand and get underneath here, okay? Now this hand will then shoot into my pocket. And then from here, we whip back to the side. And now we can get back to a half guard position. Now from here, along with the, the lockdown and the whip, if you need space, you can do a couple things. One, you can start to fight for this frame under here. Brandon does this one where he'll like palm the face like this, which I actually really like. You can sometimes also take this hand and as you're whipping, you can push in this armpit here to get him off balance. And again, either one of those is gonna be useful. Once we get the underhook, we rock back this hand, come back around this way for my brother. On this side, I'm pummeling my hand in, like a, in, a, in a pocket, and this way he's gonna come back to center to try to get his base, and I'll rock back here to the side. Now, I've got the underhook, I'm on my side, and I can start to play a low half guard here, and you know I can either transition to a deep half, or play the low half guard, and start to go for like toe tucks and old school sweeps, or whatever I've got, but that's a really good option. So if you ever play half guard and you get stuck, which is guar I guarantee you it's going to happen if it hasn't happened already, that's a really good way to use the lockdown to get out of the position. Again, you don't necessarily have to use it for you know the electric chair and all that other 10th planet stuff. You can just use it to get to a half guard position where you've got an underhook and it's a really good way to get the person off balance. So guys, hopefully that's helpful to you. Mike, thanks sir. I'll talk to you guys next time.